guys, it's Trevor with Denver's Fireplaces and Outdoor Living. Today, what we're doing is doing a side-by-side -side comparison of two brand new grills that just came out. Uh, we have the Green Mountain Grill Daniel Boone Prime Grill, and then we have the brand new uh, Traeger Pro Series 575. Um, both are brand new for the spring of 2019. I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, I have my opinion, certainly, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts between the two products. Uh, we've done individual reviews on both of these grills, but when we put them side by side, it's tough. It's tough to really say what we like. Um, you probably saw in my 2018 reviews, I sort of was leaning towards the Green Mountain Grill because you got Wi-Fi, because it was such a good value, because you got the side shelf. They just gave you so much more for your dollar. I'm starting to lean the other way though um, this year. And uh, just looking at the two products, uh, if you saw in my review, a lot about this new Prime model just seems sort of, I don't know, gimmicky toward, for me. Like it's just a lot of add-ons to sort of advertise cool new stuff that doesn't really bring a lot of value to the grill. Uh, we talked about the front window and the window on the, on the hopper. They're cool features, but without interior lighting, you can't really see in the window, it's too dark. So to me, that doesn't really do much. Uh, the window and the hopper. It's nice, but all, all I have to do is do this, and I know how full my pellets are. So I'm not, I'm not really seeing the justification. Little things like the bottle opener. Am I gonna buy a smoker because it's got a bottle opener attached to it? The answer is no. Front shelf, standard. That's awesome that it's standard. I hate that it's not detached, that it's not retractable. Um, so it just seems chunky. It just seems like a lot's going on with it. Uh, but if, if you're a Green Mountain Grill guy, there's certainly some really cool stuff with it. Um, the two things that I love about it that the Traeger does not have, which really sort of would be, if they're important features, why I would go with this grill, uh, is the 12-volt is the, uh, controls. So this bad boy can run right off your vehicle. It can plug right into your car. That's super cool. So you can take this guy camping, throw it in the back of your pickup if you're mobile. Um, that would be a huge reason why I'd go with this product. The other cool feature that's actually practical besides all this gimmicky stuff is the shop vac clean out feature. So you don't have to get in there and take apart the grill. You can literally uh, suck out the, uh, the ash out of your burn pot through the side of the grill. That's an awesome feature. Um, outside of those two features, I can't see of a reason to go with the, to not go with the Traeger. Um, my biggest complaint in 2018 is that Traeger still did not have a price point model that offered Wi-Fi. After all these years, they needed to do that. They've done that now with this grill. What they've done is you can see a whole lot hasn't changed between the 2018 and 2019 Pro Series outside of the fact that now we have full Wi-Fi controls with DC power. So that means the grill's gonna hold temperature better. It's fully controllable on the Traeger app, which as you know, the content on the Traeger app is awesome. Um, it works great. It can be used remotely. You don't have to be on the same network. The Green Mountain Grill, you have to be on the same network. So for me, the game changer is Wi-Fi control. Now I smoke a lot of stuff at home. I use my Traeger remotely all the time. If I'm cooking and taking the dogs on the walk, uh, I can be constantly checking things and I don't have to be at home. That's a huge, huge bonus. I've been kind of irritated that it took Traeger this long to put this in the grill. But now that it's finally here, uh, it totally changed my perception on going with Green Mountain versus Traeger. Uh, so between the two, you, you can do a retractable front shelf on the Traeger, you gotta pay extra for it. Um, you definitely get more for your money. You're gonna save a little money with the Green Mountain Grill. Uh, the curb appeal, I'm sort of partial to the Traeger. I think it's just a little more attractive, less chunky looking, less industrial looking. So I'm sort of beating up on the uh, Green Mountain Grill here, but I, I think they, with this new product, they just they haven't done enough to really uh, get me excited like they did last year. Uh, Traeger, on the other hand, is coming out with some pretty cool new stuff that has me super excited for 2019. I think this grill is going to do awesome. Uh, both are great products, though. If you're if you're uh, price point shopping and you just want the most grill for your dollar, it's this guy. You cannot beat the amount of stuff you get packed into a pellet smoker for the price, hands down. 
it's gonna be the most grill for your dollar. But if you wanna spend a little more money, get that Traeger support, get the Traeger content, Traeger app control, uh, full controllability. You'd spend $100 more or so and get this product, which, you know, Traeger's known for standing behind their products uh, better than anybody. So that's just my two cents. Love to hear what you guys think. Put some comments down on this video. Let me know what you think between these two grills. Uh, don't forget, if you're in the Denver metro area, come down to our showroom in Westminster, Colorado. Check out these products for yourself. And uh, you can call our text or staff with any questions at 303-800-5659. Check out these products on our website at www.embersliving.com. Thanks so much for checking out this video.